Welcome everyone. I'm here today with Dr. Giacomo Fabri. Dr. Fabri, would you like to share a few words about yourself with us? Yes. Uh, hello to everyone. My name is Giacomo Fabri and uh, I'm from Italy, specifically Cattolica, a small city on the Adriatic coast. I'm graduate at the University of Pavia in 2003 and I attended several postgraduate programs in prosthodontics and implant dentistry, both in Italy and abroad. In uh, my training and education, Dr. Mauro Franiani had a significant role and actually I have the pleasure to collaborate with him in many activities. My task is to focus on prosthodontics and I'm an active member of the Italian Academy of Prosthetic Dentistry, one of the largest Italian dental societies. My dental clinic is uh, located in the center of Cattolica, where I have the pleasure to work with my friends and partners, Dr. Roberto Mancini and Dr. Giorgio Urban, that are an endodontics and an oral surgeon, respectively. I collaborate with several universities in Italy and abroad concerning uh, research and the clinic evaluation of innovative material and innovative restorative approach, in particular with the, the University of Naples, Federico II. My work activities include then clinical practice, lectures, and also holding courses in Italy and abroad. Can you tell us about any recent advancements that are of interest to you? Yes, of course. I think that aesthetics is a fundamental parameter to consider in restorative dentistry. And today we just know all instruments in order to achieve natural aesthetics integration of the prosthetic result. But in my opinion today, the emergent topic are related to minimal invasive approaches and the reliability of the prosthetic outcomes. In the field of teeth support rehabilitation, the adhesive, the adhesion combined to the new materials and the innovative restorative approach represent the protagonist in this, in this context. In this sense, monolithic approach is a fundamental acquisition because it allows to work with minimal thickness and therefore to preserve tooth structure when it's, and when it's possible to preserve the enamel. This approach be, has become really common in the posterior segments in order to reduce the incidence of chipping. But uh, today I think that uh, it's an option that can be performed also in the anterior segments with the specific material, obtaining satisfactory results when we work with very reduced thickness or with the patient with a high risk of fracture, like patient with parafunctional habit. In my opinion, the same technique must be used also in case of implant support rehabilitation, where the risk of biomechanical complication is higher than in case of traditional prosthesis because the system is absolutely more rigid without the periodontal ligament. This topic is essential in case of full mouth rehabilitations on implants where dental mechanoreceptor are completely absent. And these represent the topic that I will discuss in my lecture. Could you give me your opinion about monolithic zirconia, which today seems to be the go-to solution? <laughs> to, to be honest, I'm not a fan of monolithic zirconia for many reasons. Um, first of all, the aesthetics, which is not comparable to the glass ceramics materials. Secondly, I'm really a fan of adhesion, so I love to work with the etchable ceramic material, preserving enamel and tooth structure. Etchability, I think, that represents an important feature, not only for the experimentation, but it can be useful, really, when we have to intervene on the restoration, like in case of chipping, because we have the opportunity, we have the possibility to create a good bonding between the composite and the ceramic surface. In case of complication on zirconia, full contour restoration, we don't have any possibility to repair it. And I think that today the prosthodontists have to find a new restorative solution in order to facilitate the management of biomechanical complications and also biological complications. I think that the path to find the strongest solution in order to completely avoid having a fracture or complication, in my opinion, is not convenient. In fact, we need a strong restoration. But at the same time, we need to have the opportunity to repair it when necessary because complications can happen also for external event or big trauma, where there isn't any material that can resist. This aspect is absolutely relevant in case of implant support rehabilitation. In fact, it's really an important advantage to give to the patient the possibility to manage with predictability their rehabilitation over the time in case of complication. 
Monolithic lithium disilicate represents the perfect alternative with the excellent aesthetics. It can be hatched, and yes, it has a lower flexural strength than zirconia. But it has absolutely enough to treat single unit restorations both anteriorly and posteriorly, or small bridge anteriorly. However, we are forced to use zirconia in case of posterior bridges or long span of bridges anteriorly with a layered, a layered or a monolithic approach. About the occlusal point of view, the zirconia is really an hard material. And today, there are in vitro studies that show the possibility to have crack on the antagonist dentition in case of a monolithic approach. But this topic must be investigated further. So can you tell me why someone would use any of these new materials over the more traditional ones? Uh, yeah, that's a really good point. In fact, many dentists think that the principal advantage of metal-free material is simply correlated to the aesthetics. And it isn't true. Innovative approaches are aiming towards minimal invasive approaches and to simplify clinical procedures. Uh, for example, today when we prep natural abutment, we maintain the prosthetic margin juxta or extra gingival, preserving two structure, preserving sub-tissues, and simplifying clinical procedures like the impression or the cementation. Also, the tooth axial and occlusal reduction is limited to minimal thickness, and in fact today never we need endodontic treatment for prosthetic therapy, except a particular situation with occlusal problems. In conclusion, all ceramics approach, if correctly performed, it can assure to our patient many advantages from biological, functional, and also aesthetic point of view, of course. Can you, can you tell us a bit more about CAD-CAM? Yes, uh, mm, CAD-CAM with the correlated restorative materials in the last 10 years has really revolutionized the traditional prosthetic approach. And uh, this technology has simplified technical and clinical procedure, obtaining results with constant and predictable outcomes, in particular in implant supported prosthesis for the production of frameworks or abutment. And zirconia in particular, in case of implant framework or abutment, represent the first option for the majority of the clinical situations, idealizing the prosthetic outcome from an aesthetic and a biological point of view. Also, in uh, terms of reliability today, we have, the, we have positive data concerning the predictability of this solution, both from frameworks and abutment. However, I think that it's really important not, not to forget that zirconia is a ceramic material, not a metal one. Ceramics are brittle and therefore do not withstand tensile forces very well, like the metal. So treatment plan and clinical procedure must be evaluated in relation to these elements. Actually, for example, it is known how the typology of the, of the connection can influence the stability of the zirconia abutment more considerably than in case of titanium ones. So zirconia can be absolutely pre a predictable material, but it needs specific clinical and technical considerations and precaution respect to the traditional approach. And outside dentistry, what are your interests? Oh, I could have uh, lots of interests, but the problem is the time to, every, to do everything. Actually, I spend my free time with my daughter Bianca, she is three years old, and my wife Lisa. I like sea sports in general, and in particular sailing, that is uh, the, my best way to have a vacation with my wife and friends. And in Europe, uh, I explore uh, in different places like Sicily, Greece, Corsica, but I think that the best place for sailing is Croatia, where there are many highlands and bays where to anchor and to hang out. In the past, I played football and basketball, but now I prefer simply to watch this sport on TV. And in the future, I would like to travel perhaps to North America more because um, I am really interested in modern American culture. Dr. Fabry, you have a new guide lecture. Can you tell us a bit more about it? Uh, yes. Yes, of course. My lecture is focused on new prosthetic approach for implant support rehabilitation, with two aims. First, to reduce the incidence of biomechanical complication, like chipping of the layer porcelain. And second, to allow a good management of biomechanical and biological complications. 
This technique is described in my article in the International Journal of Aesthetic Dentistry in the December 2014 issue. This approach provides the combination of zirconia framework with monolithic lithium desilicate restoration, cemented on the top with an adhesive cement in order to have a final screw retain rehabilitation. This technique can be used both in case of partial or complete rehabilitation. And the topics that we will discuss are concerning the framework design that is a prosthetic design, not an anatomical design like in case of layered frameworks, where it is important to maintain a uniform thickness of layer ceramic on the top. The manufacturing of monolithic lithium desilicate restoration both anteriorly and posteriorly. Lithium desilicate is a material that doesn't need a strong support by the framework. Then it's possible to maintain it in occlusion with high thickness. And how we will see this represent really a strategic concern from a functional and clinical point of view. Finally, the combination of zirconia framework and the monolithic lithium desilicate restoration through an adhesive cementation represent the last step and we will perfectly see the technique. Uh, during my lecture, I will show you many cases, in particular also with the ceramic fracture resulting from a car crash or other type of trauma in order to focus your attention on the simplicity to treat and solve any complication without the necessity to remove and remake completely their prosthesis. Dr. Fabry, it's been a pleasure having you with us today. We look forward to hearing more about your guide lecture. Thank you for having me.